here is a fan of baseball? <laughs> Me neither. Yes. Me neither. I don't really like baseball. Who here is a fan of poetry? There's a couple of smatterings. I love poetry. This is a poem about baseball. It's a good poem. I don't like baseball, I like poetry. It's this whole meta encapsulated bullshit. Whatever. Great. You have to have a basic understanding of the fundamentals of baseball for this to make sense. Does everybody have that, or should we do a brief rundown? We got it. Please yeah. explain baseball. Gold there's a guy with a stick, and he hits a ball to push his friends ahead. Okay. And there's four bases that you want to touch. All of that makes perfect sense to me without context. What was it? Magnificent. Uh, kissing boobs and oh my god, turtles, right? What? Baseball. <laughs> Third. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, probably second base. Yeah, no, it's an yeah. extended metaphor. Uh, so. <laughs> Lunch Objects Theater presents. At the bat, a song of the Republic, sung in the year of our Lord, 1888. Sorry, Chief. Splash them. This is here for when I get confused and need to check the lines. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood four to two, with but one inning left to play. And when Cooney died at second, and Barrows did the same, a sickly silence fell upon the patrons of that game. A straggling few got up to go in deep despair. The rest clung to that hope that springs eternal in the human breast. They thought. If only Casey could but get a whack at that. We'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, as did also Jimmy Blake. And the former was a Lulu, and the latter was a Flynn. So upon that stricken multitude, grim melancholy sat. For there seemed but little odds of Casey's getting to the bat. Flynn let drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Blake, the much despised, tore the cover off the ball. And when the dust had settled, the men saw what had occurred. There was Jimmy, safe at second, and Flynn, a hugging third. Then, from five thousand throats and more, there rose a lusty yell. It rattled in the valley, it rumbled in the dell, it knocked upon the mountainside, it recoiled upon the flat. Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. <laughs> there was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride. Casey's bearing a smile on Casey's face. And as the writhing pitcher ground the ball into its hip, oh, the suspense is killing us. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. No stranger in the crowd could doubt it was Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded as he rubbed them on his shirt. Shirt. Beard. Shirt. And as the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance gleamed in Casey's eye. A sneer! Curled Casey's lip. And now the other curls. Yeah, but 
Casey still ignored me. And Casey stood a watching it in haughty grandeur there. Sorry about this, folks. Clearly, there's not been enough rehearsals for this show. Close by, the sturdy batsman, the ball on heat and sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches, black with the people, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on a far and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Shout someone from the stand. And it's likely that he... Had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile. Christian charity. Great Casey's visage show. He still the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher. And once more, the spheroid flew. But Casey still ignored it. And our friend. The umpire said, strike two. Madden thousands and the echo answered. Red! But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face grow cold and stern. They saw his muscles strain. And they knew that Casey would not let that ball go by again. Clenched in hate, he bows with cruel violence, his back upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball, and now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow! somewhere in this favored land. The sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere. And somewhere hearts are light. Somewhere men are laughing. And somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Monday. Why Casey has struck out. Oh, thanks for your kind attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for all Woo! our kind indulgence. Of